Hey everyone, my name is Mish and I'm here from Lush Cosmetics Middle East. Um, I look after the brand and digital team and I'm here today to talk to you about our brand new hennas that we'll be launching this summer in Dubai in 2022. As I take you through these new hennas, we're gonna be exploring what's new about them and some of the new ingredients that we've introduced to make sure that we have better coverage and a much bolder color. Um, we have Manon and Sybil, who will be using a beautiful mix of two or three of our different hennas to create her exact color that she loves. So you guys might remember seeing our hennas look a little bit more like this, okay? They're still in this really beautiful brick form. They're still 100% natural and package free, so they're great for the environment and great for you to use. Um, what's a little bit different now is you can see these ones were a little bit shinier because they were loaded with cocoa butter. Um, but we got the feedback that it was a little bit hard to melt down and a little bit hard to spread it across your beautiful locks. So what we've done is we've taken a little less cocoa butter this time and we have put them into these beautiful new molds that look absolutely stunning. So here you have our rouge, which is kind of our fire engine red. Now this one uses red henna. And then you're also gonna see that we've got hibiscus flour and lemon juice. So think of a hibiscus flour, hibiscus juice, and how beautiful red and colorful that is. We then have our marron, very similar to the, to the rouge, but this one, we've just added a touch of indigo powder to bring in a little bit more of that depth and a little bit more of kind of um, like a wine colored red to it. Now, Brune starts with indigo, then has red henna, and then has hibiscus flower. Um, so we see the indigo show up here first, and then the red, um, which allows us to have a much more of like a chocolatey brown color. Now, Noir is very heavy in that indigo, um, and then it's blended with that red henna as well. So this is going to be the darkest version of the henna that we have, which is a very natural black. Now, the interesting ingredient that they added into here is called Nani fruit which is known to actually deepen and enhance the color. So that's the new addition into Noir to give you even more of that beautiful natural black. So the newest one and the lightest one that has now been added is our Venetian. I'm very excited to try out the Venetian sometime soon. This is for blondes who wanna get into henna and want kind of a strawberry blonde. So you have red henna in here. Um, you have some of the rhubarb powder. So the rhubarb powder is gonna be what kind of gives you that like pinky red color in here. So this is our new lightest color now coming in to the henna range, which we're very excited about. So you now have five stunning colors in these really beautiful new molds. I'm gonna go ahead and start breaking down the maroon color. Now, what's really nice about these new molds is they're a lot more breakable and easy to use. So before you really had to get the knife out and kind of like really put your back into it and have to cut the henna up, now you don't have to because you are able to just break them like the tea bricks that they've been inspired by. So all you kind of need now is you need a double boiler of some sort. So if you are a chef out there and you have all the right utensils in your kitchen, good on ya. You just need something like a fondue. We're just gonna use two metal bowls and I'm gonna put some hot water in the bottom here to make sure our bowl stays nice and heated. And then we put the henna in here with some more hot water. So all we did was just boil up some water in the kettle, nothing special. So you just put a little bit in your bottom bowl and then place your bowl on top. I'm gonna go ahead and break this whole bit in here. It depends on the length of your hair and how thick your hair is. You might not need a whole brick, you might just need half, you might need two. All right, now I'm just pouring some of the water onto the broken down henna. You basically wanna break down the henna so that it starts to feel like cake batter, so that it can go onto the hair really nice and creamy. So start with a little bit of water, and then you can always build the water as you feel you need more to create the correct consistency. Um, so now that we've got our henna about to the texture that we like, you can see here, it looks like some nice brownie mixture. What we're gonna do now is we are going to prep our model to start putting the henna right onto their hair. Um, one thing that you do really want to know is that henna can stain the skin and your clothes. So make sure that you put on clothes that you're okay to get a little bit dirty while you're putting henna on. All right, I am now here with Manon, who we are going to dye her hair with the henna maroon. Would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, so I'm Manon, I'm stock controller here at Lashmina. I make sure that all your stock is here on time. 
Yeah, hopefully, inshallah, right? Mm -hmm. um, and um, yeah, so you can thank Manon for getting all of our beautiful seasonals into the shops. We're happy that you joined the team and thank you for being my model today. Um, so like we discussed before, the thing with henna is most people in the region know henna um, as a really beautiful kind of like um, design and decoration for the skin that dyes the skin. So as we're doing henna on her hair, we do want to make sure that we're protecting her hairline and her ears so that the henna just dyes her hair and not her skin. So I'm just taking one of our um, all year round best selling items, Ultra Bland, which is a facial cleanser and makeup remover. And I'm just gonna place this around her hairline and ears to make sure that we don't stain her skin um, and she can really just enjoy the henna straight on her hair. So this is going to be Manon's first time using henna, which is very exciting um, because you'll really get to see the true color and what it can do to your hair. So we've mixed up this mixture. You can see it's got this really nice brownie um, batter consistency like we showed you before. Now, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start at the top and just slowly use like, you know, just these um, like highlighter dye brushes that you can find really anywhere across Dubai, online, anywhere you can grab them. Um, and they're just gonna help you apply that henna directly onto your hair in a little bit of a cleaner fashion. So when it comes to henna, because henna is that natural hair dye, you can't expect it to just cover your grays right away. Henna is more like a stain. So think about when you do a wood stain on a table or a door. The more layers that you put on, the darker that, that color is going to get, the darker the stain is, and it's the same thing for henna. And that is Manon with a full head of henna marone. Um, she will be sitting here for three hours. Well, we'll let you back to work. So go back to work for about three hours, let it all seep in, um, let the henna do its job, and then we will reveal what her hair looks like afterwards. Hey everyone, so I'm now here with Sybil. Sybil, do you want to introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Sybil. <laughs> and what do you do at Lush? I am um, the manager of the maid order and customer care department. Oh, so a little bit of a plug for our website. If you guys yes. do order anything online, it's Sybil and her fabulous team that are putting them in the boxes and getting all those goodies out to you. So thanks, Sib. Most welcome. So with Sybil, I'm starting off a little bit differently. Sybil has a lot of beautiful, luxurious, curly hair. So for her, unlike Manon, I've tied it up in the top and I'm actually gonna start on the bottom and then work my way down. I find that a little bit easier with people who have lots of hair. And so we've done a special cocktail with Sybil. Um, because she's been using henna for quite some time, she's actually doing um, half of a brune. So we're doing a special little mix for her. Um, it's just what she normally uses, so we're gonna go ahead and do that on her hair. But it's kind of fun for you guys to know that if one color is not exactly as you like it, you can kind of play around and kind of hand make your own hair color, really, can't you? With the brune henna, um, it actually has some of the indigo powder in it, and we've got some coffee. Um, so ground coffee. So think about that rich, beautiful, deep um, brown color that you get from coffee. That is now going to help to enhance the colors that are in the, um, the henna brune. The aftercare for henna. So once we've dyed your hair, you've kept it in for three hours. You then obviously need to shampoo it out. Now the hotter the water that you use when you're in the shower, the better, because you're just gonna continue to melt that cocoa butter down. <laughs> all over the place. <laughs> I told you, it's not the henna that's dirty, it's the person that applies it that's messy, uh -huh. which is me. We are full. Now look at all this henna, just turn your hair to the side. There is a lot of hair and a lot of henna here. So there's probably what like, <laughs> yeah. Um, it's probably a good like, you know, two kg worth of hair now with all this henna on there. So we normally then wrap it up, stick it on the top of your head um, and just get on with the rest of your day and the rest of your chores um, so that you can then rinse it out in about three hours. And we will have a before and after for you to be able to see Sybil's hair. And we'll tell you exactly what she used in this dye mix so that you can try it as well. All right, and we are back with Manon. Do you even recognize her? Look at this hair. Go ahead, give us a little shaky shake. Stunning. Yeah, what do you think? So it's your first time using henna. What's yeah. your thoughts? It, it was it was really lovely. Like even putting it on, it was really light. It didn't take very long. It smelled really good. Yeah. And then, yeah, just like, you can carry on with all the stuff whilst it's like, Brewing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then now, like, it's so soft, it's so shiny, and the color. So 
the color is so so lovely beautiful so her hair before kind of was like a little bit darker on the top and you could tell it was kind of like ombre or light at the bottom so there's some really beautiful like toning that's happened and it's just picked up in some of those natural red tones it looks really natural it is like super soft and silky um and like to rinse it out you just maybe had a shampoo like twice maybe oh, yeah, yeah. okay and now i am back with sybil now sybil is someone who has used our old henna for years so this is her first time using our new formulation which has a tad less cocoa butter which makes it a lot easier to spread a lot easier to rinse out and look at this absolutely phenomenal color so as someone who uses our henna what are your thoughts i personally love it um even though it has less cocoa butter i feel my hair like soft yeah they are alive but they are also much lighter mm -hmm. than the effect that i had with the previous one mm -hmm. like in two washes it's gone whilst with the previous one it took a little bit longer especially with great great much easier to use and which... the color is incredible this red i mean I'm really impressed by the red. I know when you saw it, you were yeah. like, this is the red I've always wanted. Um, is henna something that you think you're going to use again on your hair then? Oh, yeah, a hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. And do you think you'd go for the maroon again? Or do you think you want to play with more color? Probably play with more color. Yeah. You want yeah. to play with more color. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And just that, I mean, that's just with a quick um, wash, a quick little blow dry and like your curls look happy and healthy. Mm -hmm. Your hair is so soft. It smells good. And the color is really stunning. I mean, look at all the different, Switch. the different tones. And that's what I like about henna is it's not just going to give you like one flat tone. It gives you loads of depth and volume in your hair. So that this is the new stunning packaging that you're actually going to see our hennas come in. So they're not going to come totally naked in the shops like this. They are going to be packaged in this stunning um, new wrap. Now what's nice is when you open this up, it will have all the instructions for the henna on the inside that will give you a step-by-step -step on how you can go from um, your current hair to how obviously Manon's hair looks like now. Um, so you can unwrap it and get everything that you need to know. And just as another note, you can see with Lush, all of our ingredients are either green for all natural or black for, so the, for those safe synthetics. And this label is all green. So it's 100% natural hair dye for your hair that you can use 10 times a day if you want um, to give you that perfect color and that perfect blend of henna infusion, chemical free hair dye. Thank you so much for trying out our new henna. Thanks for being my model today. I think your hair looks absolutely stunning. Um, and we can't wait for all of our um, Lushies who've been using our old henna to try this new formulation and give us some more feedback because this was reinvented with all of your feedback in mind. So thank you so much for tuning in with us today. We appreciate you going through this henna journey with us. Um, and we hope that you consider going all natural in your hair dye moving forward. Um, and you can come find any Lushy around and we'll give you a consultation to find you your perfect hair color. Thanks so much, everyone. Thanks, thank Sam. you. Thank, thank you. you. Bye, bye. bye.